When we had last left the Spacefarer, they were seeking out a missing construction worker at the Elios Retreat, a place that was planned to be a sort of rehabilitation site for convicted criminals. But the construction crew there ran or butted heads with those inhabiting the place as they continued building. And so uh, that led to the missing person in some way who was responsible. The spacefarer was investigating and traveling out to many a nearby facility and cave alike where they turned up very little in the way of leads. But perhaps most importantly, they actually found the, the missing person. But who was the culprit? It could not be said. It was a mysterious figure, cloaked by an even more mysterious data slate. Now it was time to return back to the retreat in order to perhaps find some answers and find the perpetrator. This is Starfield. Welcome back. Zoop, zoop, zoop. There we are. Also, maybe a bit of a shorter one today. I'm not sure. We will see. Uh, apologies, but, uh, oh gosh, it is incredibly dark here, but yeah, uh, gotta be somewhere, and I'm trying to sneak one in, <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm trying to sneak in a little bit of Starfield before, uh, I gotta head out, let's see, oh gosh, let's go past all the fun robots, there's not like a fun loop around here, is there? I think there is, isn't there? My god, man, let's see, if I just follow my tracker, yeah, we should be good. Okay. Over here. Through this. And then... Uh-oh. Let's refresh it. Okay. Up this way. Oh, wonderful. Great. And then we'll head on over. We should be able to just fast travel our way there. see. Yep. There we go. Man, it is pretty far out, huh? Good. If I had to guess, the culprit is already at Maybe the retreat we'll and has never really left. And it'll be revealed there, rather than us having to go to a third location. Well, other than excluding the retreat itself. Right. Maybe it'll be that one guy who, who we didn't really talk to. The guy in the, like, navy blue suit or whatever. Future suit. Okay. Here we are. Lovely. Oh, that is... <laughs> this is not a fucking door. <laughs> okay. It's fine. Oh, yeah, this guy. This guy who we didn't get to talk to much. We talked to him a little bit, but not very much. Unless it's Monica. <laughs> no way. All right. Sloane. You seem to have weathered that trek well enough. Were you able to find anything at the facility? Kind of. No sign of our kidnapper, but I did find this. It was a dead end. Only clue in the place was this slate. And it's busted. Let's say that. Hmm. It certainly is. Monica, anything you can do with this? I can take a look. Oh, it's encoded. Oh wait, I know a guy. And done badly. Oh. Looks like there. Seems there were two of them. Whoa. Oh my god. It's all here. The accidents, the kidnapping, Greg's attack. Oh, a These manifesto. Two, they did it all. Any mention of who they are? They're not with the construction crew, are they? God, that's exactly what I was thinking. No names. But there are a pair of ID numbers. They're with the Trackers Alliance. Oh, Alliance shit. Two bounty hunters? Here? What? Our bounties are all paid. I'm not seeing an Alliance contract or documentation. I think this is off the books. So, a couple of trackers have decided to haunt us on their own free time. Why? Say God, this is so good. This is so good. Professor, this place is antithetical to their existence. Reforming criminals means less work for them. Who cares why? We've got our kidnappers. Now we need to make sure they don't do it again. Maybe they've got a vendetta against someone here. Hard to see why else they'd bother. 
What's the Tracker's Alliance? How the heck do you know how to decode that slate, Monica? Let's uh, exhaust our two questions here. What is the Tracker's Alliance? We know, but I want to hear it. It's the official guild of the galaxy's bounty hunters, known for relentlessly stalking their targets in pursuit of a payday. To a tracker, any person with an outstanding record is a coin purse, ready to be cut open and emptied of value. Regardless of the circumstances surrounding said person's record, there are few groups more ruthless. Though it's surprising that they've intervened here, where there's no obvious money to be made. Yeah, because they're fucked up. They're fucked up assholes, dude. Okay. I mean, like, yeah, they have a vendetta. They're fucked up. <laughs> um, let's see. How the heck do you know how to decode that slate, Monica? It's really not that impressive. Used to sell these on the semi-regular in my old life. A cheating spouse wants to document all their flings without fear of their partner finding out? Just use one of these bad boys. It's Computer Hacker 101 stuff. And it sure doesn't explain why they've decided to harass us. Yeah, there is no associated computer hacker stat, is there? Just like digi-picking, right? That it, it sort of covers all the bases, but not specifically about knowing how to decrypt slates. Therefore, you there's no way in which the player would know how. That's very interesting, right? Because a lot of these quests do rely... Like, how many have we done where we find a data slate or a computer or something where the information is encrypted, right? If if they gave the player the ability to unencrypt it, well, you'd be fucked, right? <laughs> it would start to fall apart. Hmm. Okay. Professor, this place is antithetical to their existence. Reforming criminals means less work for them. Care to share that? That makes quite a bit of sense. And make ourselves a target for every other hunter in the universe. Uh, we need to take a stand. Says the one guy physically incapable of taking one. We're not doing anything until we actually find them. Any mention in there of where our trackers might be now? Mm, sounds like they're on a supply run, outside the system. Then we got a little time. Given their background, and ours, I expect you're the only person here they might actually listen to. Would you be willing to act as an emissary on our behalf? Um, I would. <laughs> so long as you don't expect me to kill them, yes, I'll do it. Is there an option here for me to say, I will kill them? <laughs> don't you worry. They're not going to bother you guys ever again. Okay, that's pretty much <laughs> that, That's what I want. I don't need- I need to think about it. I don't know. Can you tell me more about who these two might be? Like, they literally tried to kill the, this guy, right? And the other dude, too, got, like, fucked up and stabbed, right? Or no, it was this guy who got stabbed. Uh, the other dude had the bag put over his head and the, like, uh, antiseptic smell and all of that, right? But also, seemingly nearly got killed, too, in the process. Like, less directly, uh, more indirectly tried to kill that guy. Mind. Okay. Which, by the way, he should be here. <laughs> he should be here for this, too. Okay, as, as should uh, Halftown. Granted, maybe not in the same room as this recovering patient. <laughs> okay, don't worry. They're never going to bother you guys ever again. Actually, hang on. Let's, let's hear about this. Can you tell me more about who these two might be? Slate's not big on details. There's two of them that clearly aren't. But that's about all we've got to go on. But trackers aren't usually the type to take prisoners when it's not required. So the fact that they've thus far remained largely nonviolent, well, it means they might be willing to negotiate. With the right person, of course. Which I think, in this case, is you. Man, so, so they, we, we've had it alluded to us when we have talked to the various trackers around... Like, you, you know, every major city and settlement or whatever has had some sort of envoy of the Trackers Alliance, right? Remember the one at Sidonia? Um, there was one in Neon. There was one in Aquila. I think there was one in New Atlantis. Every time we talk to them, there's some degree of bloodthirsty, either regretful or still incredibly bloodthirsty, right? It, when we talk to them there... If it feels like it's very much played for laughs, like, <laughs> yeah, they're criminals. 
I can't stop killing them. <laughs> right there on the run. What can you do? I, I just can't help myself, right? Hey, why don't you go pick up a bounty and kill some yourself too, <laughs> right? <laughs> Which... You know, sure. I'll I'll take it on like a video game level and be like, okay, yeah, I'll just I'll just sort of divorce this from reality or whatever, right? I won't think too much about this. We're just on some silly video game shit. Uh, there's a quest where I have to go kill someone, right? Sure, <laughs> video games. But here, this is so fucking good, dude. This this quest arc and this whole fucking area, it's so extremely good. Like, this is the kind of shit that I wanted on Neon, right? Specifically just with the gang that we had encountered. This shit is so good. Rather than having it be either the culprit is within um, the existing infrastructure of Elios or the working class construction workers who came in to help build it out, right? They're being pitted against each other thinking? by way of the fucking Trackers Alliance, dude. That's so fucking good, right? And it's an examination of how fucked up it is that, yeah, so many of the Trackers Alliance members, they don't hardly ever take anyone in alive, right? They they lampshade the fact that, yeah, they're bloodthirsty as hell. They just kill people, right? <laughs> it doesn't matter what they were on the bounty board for. They just take them in dead. All right. It's the fucking Wild West, dude. All right. So, so long as... Uh, no, don't worry. I'm. <laughs> they're never going to bother you guys. Ever. Again, I'm sure we can find a way to solve this issue, which won't require bloodshed. I'm sure we could. Let's just pay them and be done with it. I mean, we clearly need more manpower anyway. I'll hire them on as contractors. To hell with that. We know where they live. Let's have our friend here get the drop on him and send him to the great beyond. The last thing we need is the galaxy thinking that's how we solve our problems around here, Mr. D'Angelo. Well, that's why I'm not representing you all. I'm just some weird dude who's out violence. here ready to kill. <laughs> but if you're looking for suggestions on how to proceed, well, it seems we've got opinions to spare. Okay. Yeah, if I'm not officially representing you all, I'm the perfect person to just start killing. <laughs> all right. Sloan, what do you think? They haven't killed anyone. Not yet, at least. Which means I bet they're willing to talk. Okay. Well, any suggestions on how to deal with the trackers? Love, I can only guess at what these two might be after. But it's clear they perceive something about us as a threat. They're afraid. And all you can do with fear is try and understand it. So, just listen to them, okay? Hear what they have to say and see if you can make whatever it is they're worried about a little less scary. Okay. Hmm. Good luck out there. I don't know. They they legit nearly killed this fucking guy and the other person more indirectly. Greg? Are you looking for my suggestion? I don't think they're going to respect anything other than force. But I think Sloane's not going to be happy if you handle it that way. Okay, Monica? These trackers have already shown they're willing to hurt people. Don't get yourself killed on our account. Well, do you have any suggestions on how to deal with the trackers? I had to deal with my fair share of their kind over the years. You don't get into that job to make it rich. You get into it to be your own boss and prove how tough you are. So, my advice? Let them know that pushing around a bunch of counselors just makes them look like bullies, not tough. Okay, I don't, I don't know if they'll give a shit about that. <laughs> Be careful with those okay. goons. Hey, Navon. Uh, thank you again for doing this. I'm counting the moments until it's all over. So what do you think about all this? I think you should offer them money, and I'm willing to help. Here, all I have liquid at the moment. Hopefully it'll be enough. Damn, free money, okay. What else do you think? I'd hand them those credits I gave you. I'm hoping that much will be sufficient. Okay. Hmm. Take care. I don't think please. they'll take money, though, right? They don't sound like they would be the ones to do it. You know what What I would fucking love? Is if we go and find them, and we don't. they don't give us a choice, right? Here, everybody is hemming and hawing over the best way to do it, right? And 
justifiably, the guy who almost fucking died is like, geez, we gotta fucking kill him. They tried to kill me, <laughs> right? They just, sight unseen, didn't even, like, spare a chance to talk or anything. They just tried to kill me, just fucking broad day- well, not broad daylight, it sounds like, but, uh, in the middle of the night, they tried to fucking kill me, right? Understandably. I would love it even more, right? If this was the illusion of a choice, right? Everyone is here like, oh, we should pay him off. Maybe we can convince him. We can't kill them. That would be so fucked up. Uh, that would only cause more issues for us. And the other guy is like, yeah, we should fucking kill him. They tried to kill me. What the fuck do you want me to say? <laughs> right? Um, I would love it if they're all hemming and hawing over the morality and ethics of it. But the trackers, when we encounter them, have already made up their minds. Right? They have already decided how this is going to go down. They were never open to negotiation. Oh my god, I would love that so much. It really sounds like they're going to give us some player agency here, though. Right? That said, if there were ever a request to take away player agency and, like, make it seem like you were about to get some, this would be it, and it would hit all the harder, I feel. Okay. All in all, incredibly, incredibly impressed with, uh, this quest, right? Whoever, whoever did this shit, wow. Bring- I, I, I want more shit like this on Neon. <laughs> right? Or even better, shit, put, put some more of this, some more uh, self-examination like this in the other, like, cop and quasi-cop factions, right? This is good. This is good shit. Okay. There we go. Jesus. The issue is that everything is so fucking far out here. Wait, have we been to this one? We have. We can just fast travel. Okay. So this is one we'd already been at. They were just hiding or something? Okay. Hadrian, like, speaking silently. Let's do a quick save, just in case. How many pellets get shot from our shotgun blast? Is it just two? No, it's four. Okay. From our one-inch punch. I wonder if you can get that also on shotguns. And have, like, an ultra shotgun pellet blast. I'm assuming not. It's probably... ...within the parameters of it to not spawn on shotgun-type weapons. And you can't modify existing weapons to become a shotgun, right? This, we aren't on, like, Fallout 4 shit, huh? We can't put, like, a laser splitter... ...on our stuff, huh? Okay. Over here. Through this route. Good. Oh my gosh. Let's follow our tracker. Yeah, we already checked all those. They just look so tempting. Oh. What? Wait for the trackers. Oh. Okay. Sure. Well, let's see how it goes. Oh, we, we just fade to black straight up. Oh, there they are. Okay. Let's do a save here. Good. What the? Who's that? Yeah, you. that's right, asshole. Who are you and what the hell are you doing here? I could say the same to the you. Holy hell are you. I'm here on behalf of the Elios retreat. I want to talk. Attack. The last person you're ever going to see. You're going to stop harassing the Elios retreat right now or you're going to regret it. I want to talk. See? I told you Kilman was going to lead them to us. Should have slit his throat when we had the chance. Jesus. Quiet. Listen. Unless you're here to tell us those convicts have decided to close up shop, then we've got nothing to discuss. Okay. How much is it going to cost you to get to... to get you to leave the retreat alone? I bet they're, they're not open to that. Why do you care? Are you really afraid of a couple ex-cons? Why do you care? I couldn't care less about the cons. They can huff fish innards until they rot for all we care. But this retreat, if they actually succeed... Keep criminals out of the bounty system? Well, the galaxy probably doesn't need so many trackers at that point, does it? 
God, that's that make so the good. Big boys like the UC and the Collective set up programs of their own, just like Elios. Put us all out of a job. Now, better to nip it in the bud now before it becomes a threat. Which is why I'm not interested in discussing anything except the date and time they're shutting their doors. So I'm guessing you won't take a payment to quit this shit. More than you can offer. Only way this stops is if that place closes up for good. Okay. Oh, pay 20,000 credits. You underestimate me. I'll pay 20,000 credits if you never bother the retreat again. Please, we can solve this without anyone getting hurt. Oh, man. I really just want to kill him. Right? I, I really just want to... I'm going to kill him. <laughs> see, that's where you're wrong. Okay, we'll Don't see, make bud. Me kill you. I hate to see a power like that. He does have a lot of health, though. For real. Dude, it's level 64. Fucking A. Oh shit, you're reloading too. Nice. Good. Okay. What all have you got? Old hunting rifle. Bounty hunter seek. Seek skip pack? Okay. I mean, I'll take the rifle to sell. What about you? Shit, your couple of guns are valuable as hell. Okay, good. Sure. Okay, good, good, good. Fuck me. What a great quest. That said, like I said, I would have loved it if they were beyond persuading, you know? Like, if they had already made up their minds on this situation. Okay. Because, as much as I appreciate, like I said, as much as I appreciate having player agency with how to resolve the quest in multiple ways, which is normally really fucking great, right? You can do it non-lethally in two different ways, paying them off or um, persuading. This, if there were ever a quest to where it faked you out into thinking that there was a way that they would go peacefully. This would be it. Right? Okay. Good. Over here. And of course the issue is, is that more bounty hunters will likely uh, be into fucking over this place. How come sometimes when we fast travel or a lot of times Hadrian says something but we can't hear it? Hey. Look who it is. Uh, do you have anything for me? You can take this. I have more than enough. Well, thank you. Stay safe. Okay, let's head over here. We've still got the combat music rolling. Let's go over here. Sell off some of these weapons that we had gotten. Oh, no, wait, we can't, can we? Hey. Yeah, you're a... Aid vendor. We need to go over here to the ship place. Okay. There we are. And then sell from my own inventory. Let's get rid of that. Oh, fuck. Ain't nobody got enough fucking money out here. Okay. Well, that'll have to do. There we are. Over here, and we'll speak with Sloan about all of this. Yeah, really, really love this quest. Like I said, could have been even cooler, but still already where it's at. It's it's really fucking good, I think. All right. Hey, Sloan. There you are. You were gone for quite a while, love. Are you all right? Were you able to find our trackers? Sure did, and they're both dead as doornails. Less said the better, but it's taken care of. You may begin heaping praise on me whenever you'd like. Your tracker problem is no more. 
Less said the better, but it's taken care of. Mm, not sure I like the implication, but I, I suppose I have to respect it. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. This place, all of us, we are in your debt. There is just one last piece of business, though. Nevin asked to speak to you in private. He's waiting for you up in the office. All right, cool. Is there another quest? Or maybe just like a fun reward? No, yeah, Peacemaker. Gosh, man, this place rocks, dude. Okay. This absolutely has the vibe of like going, right? Th this is like a, a classic BGS side quest, you know? I mean, I mean, of course, granted, it has always been the case that the side quests are hit and miss with regards to how good they are, right? <laughs> as far as writing is concerned, right? But uh, this is like, you know, classic BGS wherein you stumble upon a little town or settlement or something in the middle of nowhere, and there just so happens to be a nice quest arc attached. So hard, Sloan. I, I should have fixed this for you all. You know, for someone who's just supposed to be resting, you're certainly carrying a lot with you. Focus on getting better. Then we'll talk. Okay. Head on up here. Good. Hello, Nevin. Ah, there you are. So, first things first, I need to say, well, thank you. Well, glad I could be of service. Let's jump to the explaining what you want part. Your credits are thanks enough. I'm glad I could be of service. And we are exceedingly grateful for it. It's just... The situation you set right, with the trackers, it's one we don't want to find ourselves in again. Luckily, we have someone, our founding donor in fact, who has offered to reach out to the Alliance, ensure their good behavior going forward. Before she does, however, she's asked for the details of what exactly occurred. Uh -oh. I've already shared my own insights, but... Well, she wants to talk to you, too. Is that something you might be amenable to? If that's all you need, sure, I can talk to her. I think I'd rather be on my way. Who exactly am I speak going to be speaking to? Should I be concerned here? What if it's someone we would know? Who am I going to talk to? Our benefactor has said she'd prefer to do the introductions herself. What if it's Ackland or someone? you can rest assured she wants only to thank you in person. Hear your side of the story. Nothing more sinister than that. Do we know any other really, like, wealthy women who might have an interest in funding this? I don't know. All right, well, yeah, sure, I can talk to her. Ah, she'll be pleased to hear it. Head to Aquila City in the oh. Cheyenne system. Check in with Justin Sneed, her security chief. And I would ask you to try and be polite. She's the only reason we're here. Huh. Okay. Sure. Let's bring this up. And then... Go here. Set course for Aquila. Oh, fuck. I've got contraband, huh? All right. Is it on me? Or is it in the ship? I think it's our Aurora, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Hmm. Let's go out to the, what do you call it, the wolf system or whatever it was. Or we could go to, like, Parima. Yeah. And we could sell stuff off at the... The Mile. Oh, that ain't it. Oh, dear lord. Here we go. Okay. Great. Sure. We. I guess we can run the red mile real quick while we're out here. I guess we could do that too, right? It's. It, we're. We've gotten so good at it. It's so fast now. Time for another EVA walk, huh? I'm ready if you are. Is that the first time we've had someone refer to it as EVA? 
Huh. Okay. There we are. They're trying to push me off. Head on in here. Good. We can also sell off some of our extra little weapons that we've been accumulating. This oh. place is messed up. What kind of two-bit security they have running this place anyway? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's messed up, but for other reasons than that. What do you want? All right, let's get this over with. So I can get back to what I All right, yeah, you're not the vendor lord Bye. I'm looking for. It's the bartender. May oh, there. Fortune smile Happy to serve you. As long as you respect May's rules and behave yourself. Okay. Let's see, get a drink. Sure. What would you... And then... Let's see, yeah, it's the fucking Aurora that I bought. We're selling it for such a fucking loss. Oh, what a mistake that was. Okay. Let's see, get rid of these. Good. Huh. Should we sell off some of this other stuff, too? Nah, they're kind of- they have fun names, don't they? Well, this one doesn't really. Does it? Hmm. I don't know, we'll hold on to it for now. Okay. Miscellaneous, anything I should get rid of here? I've got a duck. These things I'll get rid of, sure. Okay. I really need to deposit these onto the ship. What am I fucking doing? Okay. Come Good talk. Come see me if you need anything else. Okay. Let me make sure. Let's see here. What has my amp on it? Okay. Six is my amp. Good. I want to run the red mile. It is good to see you again. Yep, yeah, I'm doing it of my own free will. Well, then. Step aside and we'll announce your... Then. Okay. I wish... Hello. Okay. Let's try and do the real red mile run now. <laughs> there we are. Good. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Great. Okay. Fuck, I got a dislocated limb. Is that impacting my speed? There we go. Okay. Okay, let's also check here real quick. I think it's impacting our encumbrance, actually. Let's see. We need something blue. There we go. Perfect. Jeez! Okay. Over here. I'm assuming she's, she's doing the announcement right now. <laughs> I'm assuming. Okay. Good. Come on, creation engine. Don't let me down. Oh, perfect. She was doing it the whole fucking time. Beautiful. Okay. God, am I even going the right fucking way here? Holy hell, I think we are. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Sure. Yeah, if we had better, like, O2 preservation and boost pack capability, right, which there are perks for, make no mistake, we could run this probably getting here just right after the little ticker goes away in the top left. There we are. Perfect. And then can I fast travel up there? No. Okay. Fair enough. Good. Oop. Watch out for their explosive blast. Get amped up a little bit more. Okay. Probably also help to have some of that... What do you call it? Oh shit, the slide ability. Oh shit. Fractured limb. 
Okay, we'll tend to this when we get up there. Oh, that's the lag zone. Loading in assets. Okay. Good. Oh, more assets being loaded in. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fuck yes. Okay. Get up there, get in there. Wonderful. Okay. Up and around. Cool. Wonder if it's quicker to go around the other end, too. I don't know. No, see, we have to wait for two doors here. I feel like that's a big deal. Maybe even three. Right? I don't know. I just did job and you can't open those when she's still yet to make the announcement, right? Yeah, don't even have anything to say, huh? Whether you're here to gamble, participate, okay. do enjoy your stay. Got a bridger out of it? Sure. Here, Taking let's sell it off. Talk to me. Cool. What will you be having? Okay. There we are. Dump that off. Great. Oh, and we also have an instigating calibrated bridger. Hmm. I don't know. Instigating is really nice on that. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Sure. Let's head on out here. Great. And you know what? Let's actually track down Justin Sneed. Okay. I am a little dubious of this person evidently being on a security force or whatever. Their backer being that person, that type of person. <laughs> we're, we're not having like a Ebside Strikers situation all over again, are we? <gasps> oh, dear lord. Okay. Let's continue on up over here. Okay. And then, up here. Ooh, there we go. Good. Okay. Tower's closed. Come back some other time. Oh, it's you! I remember you. You worked at Laredo, didn't you? Or am I thinking of someone else? I was told to check in with you. I'm Lyle Schnub. I'm the one who helped out the Ilios retreat. Oh, you were expecting me. The savior of, Eli of Elio's retreat has arrived. I don't have time for this. Nevin sent me. Now step aside. I was told to check in with you. Hmm. You're them, huh? I've got two rules for this. Oh, you're, you're their private security. Rule number one. Gotcha. You're not to share anything you discuss up there. This is a private matter, and we're going to keep it that way. Rule two. You decide to get playful with that weapon... We're going to have serious problems. Think you can abide by those? I can handle that. Let's just say sure and see how things go. I don't take orders from you, pal. I can handle that. Good. Miss Lance is waiting upstairs. Miss Lance. You can go on up. Do I know a Miss Lance? And that must make you our guest. Please, take a seat. Okay. Oh, yeah, you are with Laredo. You're Laredo Firearms, right? You're the the head of that place. No, you may already know who I am. Raisha Lance, CEO Laredo Firearms. And you I know all about. I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for the retreat. Truly, it's a project that's near and dear to my heart. You're quite welcome. Not a big fan of small talk. Let's get to it. You're the person responsible for the retreat? The CEO of a weapons manufacturer? Let's say that. I'm not the sole donor, but yes, the retreat is a project not I've been the trying sole to donor either. for some time now. My attempt to improve the plight of humanity, even if just in a minor way. Which is why I'm so thankful for your intervention on its behalf. Oh god, that is so fascinating. That you're a weapons manufacturer CEO. 
Oh, that's so good. Okay. Huh. Yeah, if you were actually, like, head of security or something like that, that would be fucked up. But that, that's why I thought they were saying by completely misunderstood, right? That dude down there, Justin Sneed, is her head of security, right? And we had to go through him. This is so much... This is really good as well, right? Because there is almost, like, a incongruent dichotomy of her wanting to make things better, but also being a weapons manufacturer in a world wherein we know that these weapons are 100% being used to kill a lot of human beings, right? Uh, huh. Okay. Especially in a world wherein non-lethal weaponry exists, right? You know, you know, there could be an entire weapons manufacturer that the basis of their weaponry is that, yeah, they only make less than lethal weapons, right? They exclusively make that. But this is such a fun little twist to to sort of what she refers to as her pet project, right? That almost seems... I Probably condescending isn't the word I would use for it, but something similar to that, right? Hmm... It feels very much like, Take your time. like the pet, like this being the pet project of a CEO, absolutely tracks to me, right? Okay. And having it referred to as such is, I feel like, the correct language to use, right? Is is very good and intriguing language to use to to refer to it. All right, you're quite welcome. Now I presume Nevin already got you up to speed. I need details before I talk to the heads of the Trackers Alliance. Make sure their members understand the retreat's off-limits. So if you don't mind, I'd like to just jump right into it. Lily here will be taking notes as we go. Now, Nevin said all the various incidents afflicting the retreat, they all stemmed from this pair of rogue bounty hunters. Do I have that right? We found evidence to that effect, yes. All I can confirm is that they were involved in the kidnapping. The rest I wasn't present for. What sort of other incidents are you talking about? What other incidents? There were a streak of thefts and accidents leading up to Mr. Kilman's kidnapping. We'd presume they were just bad luck or local fauna. Ixel's not exactly the most hospitable of worlds, but Nevin made it sound as if those bounty hunters might have been responsible for it all. And I was hoping you could confirm if that was the case or not. Hmm. I mean, all I can confirm is that they were involved in the kidnapping. The rest I wasn't present for. Or we could lie. Did we find evidence? I mean, in a sense, we could reason that we did find evidence that they were living there. Thus, where would they get the means to survive, you know? Because if they were using a ship to go back and forth from the planet, they would have easily found them, right? But they were camped out there for the long haul. They maybe touched down in the dead of night and, you know, the rest is history. Hmm. Something wrong? I didn't offend you, did I? We found evidence to that effect, yes. Good. Lily, make sure we get a copy of all that, will you? Yes, Ms. Lance. But Nevin did say you managed to get those two to leave the retreat alone. You mind my asking how you accomplished that? I didn't want to have to do it, but those two weren't going to understand anything but force. I put them both in the ground. Problem solved. If it's all the same to you, I'd really rather not talk about it. <laughs> Let's say this. I didn't want to have to do it, but those two weren't going to understand anything but force. Hmm. Well, I appreciate you putting yourself in harm's way like that. I'm interested in the details, though. How exactly did it all play out? It was a battle for the ages. Seriously, they'd write songs about it if anyone had seen it. They were pretty outmatched. Let the Alliance know they need to train their people better. It was a tough scrap. Those hunters knew their way around a weapon. It was pretty tough. <laughs> Not known for being pushovers, that's for damn sure. Guess we got lucky you aren't either. So, only other thing I wanted to ask, and I'm just looking for an opinion here. Is there anything in your eyes that could have been done to prevent this happening? 
The retreat's woefully underprotected. You need more security. Your leadership needs guidance. Sloan and Nevin really dropped the ball here. I think you're on the right course now. Having a bunch of criminals running around a place like that is only going to end in tragedy. God, I love the, the differences between the options here, right? I mean, the real answer here is the slow dismantling and dissolution of the Bounty Something Trackers wrong. Alliance, right? I didn't offend you, did I? It's obvious that if we are now at a point where we're trying to address widespread criminal reform in a very serious matter, right? We cannot have a privately owned guild organization that profits off of hunting people down and taking them in dead, right? Wherein they can take them in dead, right? That's so fucked up. They're, they're like, like we said, like the professor response said, their very existence is antithetical to such a place even existing, right? Which is, it's such a fucking great argument to make, right? That's like, um... I, I can't help but be reminded of, like, arguments that people make with regards to Take your similar situa situations with, um, like, private military companies or, um, shit, weapons manufacturers and, of course, policing, right? Wherein they you are incentivized for there to be issues, ergo, you create them, right? Okay, huh. Yeah, I, I wish there was more of an option, but granted, I guess maybe this is the wrong person to talk to for this, but there should be an, an instance where we can say that um, the Trackers Alliance should also be under more scrutiny, right? Because it wasn't the retreat that was the issue, right? But of course, granted, we have to keep in mind who we're speaking to here, mm. that this Take person... As doesn't have control over the Trackers Alliance, right? More so, these are the threads that this person could theoretically pull. Stuff involved in and around the retreat itself. But yeah, we need more security at the retreat. After everything I've heard from you and Nevin, I'm inclined to agree. It'll take time to get the right people in place for this kind of work, but I'll make sure it's addressed. But that should give me enough to present to the Alliance. Thank you for making the time. Now, what you did, well, it deserves something more than just a couple of firm thank yous. Here, I want you to have these. They're a rare make, but I think you've earned it. Oh. Now, oh, was shit, there a anything legend. else you wanted to talk about before we went our separate ways? A whole ass space suit, okay. I think you're going to do real good with the retreat. I think you're wasting your money on the retreat. Nothing else I was looking to discuss. Got a couple of questions, too. What made you want to get involved in the retreat in the first place? I'm very curious about this, because there's a there's a very fun and clever way in which you can write, write around this person's involvement, too, right? That's such an extra fun little um, reveal of, like, this person's nature. Okay. What made you want to get involved in the retreat, anyway? It's something that's been on my mind for a while now. How best to help the galaxy's incarcerated population? Humanity's tried plenty of bad ideas. Throwing them in jail and forgetting about them. The UC gave that a go way back when. Took all their criminals to a penal colony on Suvorov. Oh, and fuck. left them to their own devices. Can well, we go there? Those folks didn't appreciate that sort of treatment. Took over the colony. <gasps> and now we call them the Crimson Fleet. Yo! Oh Let's my god! Making them pay fines instead of going to jail. Except if you don't have the money, that's no sort of improvement at all, is it? Bad idea after bad idea. I thought it was time we tried something new. That's where the plans for the retreat came from. Our attempt at doing things different. Holy shit! The Crimson Fleet exists as a direct response to the the UC's own mismanagement of their criminal justice system. Holy fuck, that's so good! Oh my gosh, the fucking UC is such an excellent fucking faction. I, I cannot even lie. They're so fucking good. The only way in which I would I would want them to be better 
is if um, the president was also kind of fucked up, right? But you can still get around that by way of them being a president, an elected official. Have it to where they don't get reelected, right? God, the UC is is written so fucking well, right? Mm -hmm. It's such a great... It's... Honestly, the UC is feels to me like a better representation of what Neon was trying to go for. Granted, we haven't done the Ryujin arc just yet, right? But uh, that sort of bureaucratic mismanagement and sort of corruption at higher levels of, of governing and, and just like, not even corruption, but also, um, yeah, like I said, mismanagement, just stupidity. <laughs> or lack of empathy in the case of the penal colony, it sounds like. Um, that's so fucking good, right? That is incredible. The UC is so so far, far and away, my favorite written faction. I'm sure I'll I'm enjoy, wrong. based off of what we I know now, I'm sure that. I will enjoy uh, the Crimson Fleet, um, but I will enjoy them in like a, a fun way and like, oh yeah, I love these folks, right? I, I could see that, right? They're problems. They're, they're a problem, but I kind of I kinda can't help but love them. But as far as a faction with like a whole lot of intriguing depth, fuck, the UC is so fucking good. <laughs> okay. they Like they have so much fucked up shit going on. You know, I, I, I absolutely love it. Okay. Huh. How are you going to get the Trackers Alliance to play ball? You make lots of friends in my position. Friends in the Free Star Collective. Friends in the UC. The sort of people with influence over things. Like, say, how much a locality is allowed to spend on Alliance contracts each quarter. When the Alliance heads grasp that it's better for us all to be friends, I expect they'll leave the retreat well enough alone. God, can we meet them? Oh my gosh, there should be like a whole fucking DLC about the, the Trackers Alliance. They're such an interesting faction, the, especially here, the way in which they're legitimately willing to portray them, right? Like, I would not have expected Starfield to be interested in portraying the Trackers Alliance in such a way, especially after such a milk toast like, um, look at things on, on Neon with the Ebside Strikers and Neon Security. And sort of the way in which they were pulling punches with the um, the Rangers, the Freestar Rangers and stuff. The, the, the Freestar Rangers were a little Take like, your time. I get what they were going for, but they, they were too light with their punches, right? They were too fucking light and too unfocused on uh, Hope Tech, I think. Man, the UC is so fucking good, though. I mean, they fucking suck. Right, but but as 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 in it, within a narrative, fuck, I love them. Holy shit, there's so much potential there. Okay, God, and and we can. Fi I want there to be more like dirt with regards to them and uh, House Varun. There's so much opportunity for juicy shit there, right? Oh my gosh. Let's see. Nothing else I was looking to discuss. I think you're wasting your money on the retreat. I think you're gonna do real good with the retreat. That's kind of you. But without your help, it might have stayed just a goal. You have my sincere thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, as you've seen, there's plenty to be done. Man, how good is this shit? And I don't even think that this person is necessarily Reisha or whatever her name is, um, is necessarily like a villain through and through, but is more so like, is adequately portrayed as sort of a CEO who, right, be treating it and calling it a pet project when there's so many people's lives involved in such a way. I don't, I don't know. I feel like there's such an opportunity for good, like, characterization of her being a little bit naive to the depth of the situation, right? I feel like there's such a great opportunity there for that. Oh my god. If anything, th this is just highlighted, like, the Freestar Ranger arc and maybe it's just because we're here in Aquila, but it, it, it has really like shown to me how much they were just they were holding back or pulling their punches and not going hard enough when fuck the the development behind the UC 
as a whole is so fucking good. Oh my god. They have so much fucking good juicy depth and nuance to them, I think. Right? Wherein they have, like, such a fucked up, like, dark part of them that is being hidden. It's so excellent. Right? I want I want something similar for um, the Freestar Collective, right? There's such a great opportunity for, for it to sort of highlight... For it to go, like, fucking Bioshock 1, right? With regards to their very laissez-faire way of ruling things, of, of governing, of how they sort of gave way to Neon and to, like, all of their corporations and stuff run amok and how they're willing to turn the other way just so their their faction can even survive, right? There's opportunity for that there, but I, they have not shown at least so far that they're willing to go the distance the same way that they did with the UC, right? We'll, we'll see, though. It, it could still come up. I don't know. I'm, I'm eternally an optimist and hopeful. <laughs> Right, there's there's opportunity. There's no reason why it has to be closed off for now. Just because, um, like I said, the the Freestar Rangers arc ended a little disappointingly with how, um, like I like I said, I pulled its punches with the whole Hope Tech situation, right? And sort of self-examining the Rangers as they exist, right? And sort of being unfocused as well, and and like looking at all the other Rangers and stuff for whatever reason, when they ultimately were not terribly involved in the main arc of the Freestar Rangers. Anyway, anyway. Uh, holy shit. The UC, best fucking faction in the settled system so far, in my opinion. We'll, we'll see. I'm super curious about the, the Crimson Fleet, right? In fact, the UC is so good, every other major faction seems inextricably linked to them, right? The UC is so fucking cool. Like, I mean, they suck, right? <laughs> Sorry, to, to clarify, they're bad. But as a narrative device, fuck, they fucking rock, dude. They fucking rock. All right. Uh, when next we come back, we're going to hit up some more shit around town. Uh, maybe we'll follow up on another miscellaneous. Or maybe, you know what? We'll join up with Ryujin and finally get to see where all that goes, right? Like I said, I'm super curious about how they play that. There's a lot of opportunity there as well. Uh, that said... Ryujin feels um, very small time, relatively speaking, uh, because, I don't know, where else have we seen anything Ryujin rather than on Neon, right? I'm super curious. Though that said, uh, maybe they, they were planning for the long haul with some of these smaller factions, right? Like, who knows if Starfield 2 ever gets made or something, or even DLC, depending on how long they genuinely want to continue with a DLC tale for Starfield. Who knows where it will go with regards to factions developing over time, right? Like, small fish could eventually grow to be big, so to speak. All right, until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>